So back at the machine, a uh, nice, very quick and simple, straightforward process. First of all, what you do is open both gullwing doors fully. Uh, that allows a maximum wind, which charcoal loves. Um, and then what we do is simply wind up the mechanism here, which is used for heat control. But when you're loading it up, the lovely thing is it goes up so high, it gives you fantastic access to the firebox. In the firebox, you get two of these dividers, and they're, they're multi-purpose. They divide the charcoal, but they also act as scoops to, to, to get, take your charcoal out later on. So you can do a number of things. You can actually put... Uh, two small fire pits either side to leave a large bit for low and slow. You can bring it in and do very, very small amount of cooking. So say if you're cooking for two people, you can bring it in very, very narrow. And you can even reconfigure. Uh, so if you're doing skewers, for example, what you can do is reconfigure it and bring it in like that and just set up a small firebox which allows you with the skewer holder, allows you just to put enough charcoal in to work off this end and that end only. But for today what we're going to do is we're going to light it in the middle and position it for a, probably what I would call a medium, medium sized barbecue. So the first thing we do is use the gloves you get with it. And this is nice and simple. It means if you keep these gloves all the time, you don't have to get your hands dirty, and it solves one problem that people don't like, which is this is the dirtiness of charcoal. So there's no need for you to get your hands dirty at all. The next thing I'm going to do is put the chute on. Now, the nice thing about the chute is it directs it into there and keeps any dust and dirt away from the side table. Uh, it's also designed to mean that it'll allow you to use commercial grade charcoal, which we always recommend. And this is the charcoal that we sell, which is for all our timings, all our timings and specifications are based on this charcoal. So it's as simple as that, and then all you do is use the scoop to spread it out, nice and simple and easy, and clean. The next thing we do then is we open out the charcoal a bit just nice and quickly and put some of our eco two, three, four, whatever you feel indulgent on. Space, space them out evenly around the center and then what we're going to do is we're going to light them. And the reason why it's good to have a good gas lighter is because it means it just lights them so much faster. And we, we don't say that gas is of no use. It's actually very good for lighting the, uh, the eco sticks. Beyond that, you shouldn't really go near gas. What you then do is take the larger bits of the charcoal, set them over the eco sticks until they're covered, and then very quickly and very simply build up the rest of your charcoal into as close to a beehive shape as possible. And the nice thing with the fact that we can work on this machine, cook on this machine from all the sides, means we can also go around and work from this side to load it up. This literally takes a couple of minutes, and while you're doing this, don't forget it's actually lighting the charcoal, so it's not holding anything back. The charcoal is lighting nicely from the inside, and what you'll see is, very shortly, a lovely glow coming out from the inside of the charcoal. So that's really ready to go as far as uh, lit up is concerned. What will happen now is the nice thing is that when you're lighting from the inside, it means it's lighting right down there as opposed to generally people try to put fire lighter on and it means that it burns off the fire lighter and then the inside's still cold. Whereas what this is doing is this lighting from the inside and allowing you to get the whole thing glowing. So what we do it now, we've just started the light, it's 25 to 3, and we'll just see, wreck and leave it for about 6 or 7 minutes, and we'll come back and see how the fire is going.